Prior to yesterday I done Salvia six times. All six times were for the most part very pleasant and weren't too intense for me to handle. I had friends speak out uh, about outer body experiences but other than the one when I smoked Salvia on the LSD it never gave me any of the sorts. Uh, so an old friend called me up yesterday wanting to hang about uh, for a little bit. Last time I hung about with this friend we dropped acid together, so I was fairly comfortable around him. He picks me up from my house and we headed into town to see where there is uh, what there is to do today. While driving we catch up and somehow Salvia got brought up. My friend admits he never really seen salvia before, let alone smoked it. I have him pull to the nearest head shop and I pick up a gram of 10 plus royal salvia. Nothing too potent, just enough for him to experience it. After we buy salvia I suggest that we smoke at the spot right out of town. It's very secluded, beautiful scenery. We get there, fill up his bong and go and sit by the little dock that sits near the river, which goes on to the waterfall. I had already had a history with Salvia, so my friend suggests that he goes first. Maybe a minute goes by, and I can tell he's just starting to feel it. He's unresponsive and giggly, so I load up the bone to try and match his size hits. The only thing is, is that the bowl was already clogged. So I try and suck hard and light the bowl. Nothing lights though. That's when I sucked whatever is blocking it through. The flame with the lighter turned direction instantly lit the salvia in the bowl. I saw the smoke turn yellow and I cleared the bowl. I held it for 10 seconds and then exhaled a small cloud of smoke. I regretted every second of the hit. It was by far the most salvia I had smoked in a hit and I knew I was going to experience some wild and weird shit. The come up alone was more intense than all my experiences combined. I started getting the weird body feeling I've gotten from salvia before. It's hard to describe but it simply feels like my body or soul is drifting in a certain direction. I can clearly see I'm not, but that's what it feels like. That's when I think I was set up for disaster. I've never been able to handle my drugs before. I usually just say to myself, just let go. It's only a drug. This time was different. My body's feeling, my emotions went from relaxed and calm to very uncomfortable and worried. I looked at my friend sitting next to me in the dock and bam, it hit. My entire field of view changed. All my memory and ego vanished. I was still sitting, but in a whole other reality. My picture sitting, or just picture, sitting inside a well-lit soda can that's still closed, but is rolling on its side. I stood up and tried to look around, but I was physically forced to sit back down. My friend said I was loopy by this point for five minutes and got up and was about to walk around off the dock so he sat me back down. Then I felt stuck in that position. Now all of a sudden the inside of a soda can is animated. It's hard to remember anything that I was being told but this was the basics. A girl's voice. Sit right here, don't move. We're making things the way they should be. A guy's voice. I got his legs. Someone want to get his arms? Then another girl's voice. Here I got him. I was no longer human, but a piece of metal. 
I describe the visuals like an early 2000s movie. Robots, if it were directed by Salva or Dali. Everything looked like that. It was insane how vivid and real everything seemed to. It was literally like us playing a virtual reality game with amnesia. Now the entire can looked like it was made up of other pieces of metal I had become. By this point I'm scared shitless. Every piece of metal had a face. The metal next to me started telling me just to do as I'm told or out or I'll end up like other metal that didn't comply. Guy's voice to my left. Look man, just let them do this or die for being a dumbass. I could start seeing a tiny bit of my actual reality. Now it's as if I'm sitting right on the hole of the can Below I can see the water from under a dock, but that's it. Then I filled the hole with metal. I started getting aggressive, I s say, what the fuck? Get the fuck away, what the fuck? This is confirmed by, by my friend, who was already done with his trip and had no idea now why I was acting like this. He experience, his experience wasn't even close to mine, so he thought I might actually need help. Still in my aggressive state, the only way I could think of getting out of the experience is to fight my way out. I started throwing the pieces of metal next to me, which didn't open up any more of my reality, and telling everyone to go to hell. Fuck the system. I was about to be integrated into it. What happened in reality was that I threw my friend's bong into the river and my water bottle when I started uh, doing that, the, the voices, they got more angry. The girl's voice to my right says, well that sucks, you just had to fuck shit up didn't you? Bye. And then the guy's voice said, Peace C745925 4 fell. I looked down to see a leaf floating in the water. The leaf had the same face as every other thing that was talking to me. It was just so confused. Keep in mind that the whole time I'd forgotten I'd even did Salvia. I experienced genuine hor horror. I thought I could die at any moment. All of a sudden, there was a new voice, my friend. My friend said, What is this? This is so weird. How did we get here? Me? You've been here the whole time. Tell these motherfuckers to get off me. My friend, what? Dudes, I'm okay. You're okay. We're just two people doing salve in the woods. Me? Woods? Oh shit. What? I took... A double take. I'm in the woods and all of a sudden the dock is curled into like a hamster wheel of some sort and we are spinning. Me, I say. This isn't unusual to you? How the fuck are we staying on this thing, my friend? What are you talking about? Why did you get so mad and throw away my bong? Me, what did I threw that bong at the bitch she was holding me down. I pointed to her but instead I was just pointing and I just see this bong just floating there. Me, dude I'm sorry I'm having trouble understanding what's real and what's not. If you could see what just happened you'd understand why it was like that. Give me a minute or two to calm down and come back. I laid my head back and just took a second to breathe. Fuck Salvia. Fuck ever going back to that world again. Of course, after recalling experience, I have no regrets. I wish I could travel back to that reality, just this time more aware and self conscious, seeing as how Salvia is so unpredictable. I probably won't do it again for some time. 
I had my fun. It's all so silly and simple. Our reality is just a tiny part of it, and we can't even comprehend how large of a system it really is. They were trying to get me to see, to come through the hole I had created by smoking this drug. The things I was touching were snags, keeping me within the realm of my internalised vision of reality. It's not cosmic in nature, but rather we are the smallest building blocks of matter that make up the big picture reality. So we can as individuals may exist as part of a brick wall or a wheel of some sort, as the atoms they make up, make up get thrown around and change over time. This is phased horribly. What I really mean to say is that I felt like different objects, because these atoms eventually get broken down and reform into other objects. But our universe is just one atom piece. And I experienced it as it became part of different atoms. I started as part of a brick wall, and they were pulling me through saying, can't you see? Can't you see you're just part of a brick wall? And that's all there is to it. The drug let my mind enter higher fields of existence where I could see, comprehend and hear all of this. As it pulled me further, I was no longer aware of my body or my room, nor any physical sensations, but only our universe's position in reality. I could see other people thousands of miles away, also being pulled through, also causing snags on the surface of our little reality bubble. The people in higher dimensions seemed irritated with me for not being able to just come through or staying part away on my side. After the wall, I was on a wheel, but I was on part just about to roll on the ground. So the people were trying to talk me and tell me how to get out. And then the wheel rolls over me and I rolled over me and my cat. I felt a huge physical pressure and stopped hearing voices. Then the wheel continued to roll and we gradually lifted up onto the other side where they could continue chatting with me. I had glimpses of these things before and thought I had broken through, but I was somewhat aware of what was happening. I mistook the people of the higher reality as mystical entities of some sort when actually they were just people trying to help me understand. It's not an alternate reality, it's merely the one that our reality is part of. What I still don't know is why they wanted me to understand. I started coming down from the peak of the trip, if you want to call it that, and I began to realise that I had my eyes open the whole time. I could see around my room, but I was so aware of the grand scheme of things that I didn't care about my surroundings. They were irrelevant, and I was unimportant. However, whatever thing I happened uh, to be looking at, um, became the window in the other dimension. I was seeing this all through my wall, my ceiling, a picture on my wall, my cat. I was surrounded by my own universe, but the outer one was a bit visible from all angles. I don't know how else to describe it, and for some reason I felt that my cat was a nuisance to them. Like he was holding me back, grounding me, from breaking through successfully. The only issue is how hard it is to hold for long enough. I started tripping when I couldn't even finish the rip. I couldn't hold it for more than a few seconds after putting the bomb. I don't know what to make of all this. I was entirely convinced that all of it was completely true. I knew that I had seen the truth 
I couldn't believe how ignorant we as a species are to think that our existence means anything other than this. Now that I'm mostly back in my normal headspace, I'm telling myself it was just my brain showed me bullshit because of this weird substance that was severely altering its process. But what if it isn't? All of my salvage trips have been with the same theme, show me things. It just took one really strong hit really to see what it was all about. And this would explain other people feeling as though they were part of a random object when they smoke it. I took my hat and sat back, pulling the blindfold over my eyes. The trip started in the same way as it always does. I always merged with this collective entity. It's millions of individuals, yet they are being one. It feels like one mass of organic life form made up of a grid of these individuals that exist in four dimensions. During the trip, my body splits apart and I become one of the grid. But I don't think this is the same God. Uh, is it the same thing as God or anything like that? Instead of having a mystical feeling, it's more of carefree, carefree feeling. As almost as if to say, what? What are you experiencing? Something spiritual and mystical? Ah, like pulling a cloth away from the mystery and finding something utterly overwhelming and unexpected. Like human existence. It's just a joke and it's obvious to every being in the universe. I've experienced this many times, so I was pretty accepting of this part of the trip. Only this time, something a little different happened. Some kind of cylindrical portal opened up and suddenly hundreds of different realities flipped past me like a deck of cards. It felt like I saw people and places. But it's hard to remember this part. It happened so fast. I, could, I couldn't describe to you a single one. The people inside the grid were talking to me in another language but I un understood it somehow. They were saying, come with us. If you come with us, you can travel with us from place to place. We can go anywhere, as we have no limits. This scared the shit out of me. I felt like if I wanted to be with them in these other slices of reality, I could, I would literally lose this one. I wanted to hang on to this slice and my body well I knew um, that I still had one and I was still here. I really thought it was this time, feeling like I was in a roller coaster just waiting for the ride to end. I felt like they were making fun of me, like, ha, look at him. Why is he so attached to his little existence? They were just laughing and perplexed, like they had offered me immortality and I refused. The trip then ended and I immediately went to sleep. Even though part of the experience was a little bit scary, I'm pretty experienced with this stuff and feel like I can handle my shit pretty well in Salvio. I feel grateful for it and I'm currently enjoying the antidepressant effect of a strong trip that it always has on me. It always puts me right back into the right state of mind. It makes me thankful for life and gives me a lot to think about. <laughs>